So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 specifically. We're going to be looking at kind of a wish list of what I would like to see in Iron Banner. One of my subscribers commented on my Jersey Exotic Dare Part 10. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a lot of fun for me. But basically said, could you do a video talking about your wish list for Iron Banner next season? Would love to hear would like to hear your ideas for what armor weapons changes you'd like to see. And obviously, I love the idea. So this is the video. Uh, this will be talking about mostly the armor and weapons the changes i'm going to do in a separate video because uh i let me just say this real quick i know they're changing iron banner i know they're 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 talking about changing it i still want to make that video just to see if the changes that i have in mind um are aligned with the changes that bungie does so without further ado let's just get right into it so the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is I would love to see more variation when it comes to Iron Banner armor, because from what I've noticed, uh, Iron Banner armor is very heavy on mythological or not mythological, but more like historical armor. We had a lot of European style armor from Destiny 1. Uh, we had a lot of Japanese themed armor in Destiny 2, a lot actually. The new Iron Banner armor is specifically somewhere in Europe. I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have it in the video if I find it, but if I don't, someone correct me in the comments below. So uh, I would love to see a little bit more of uh, warrior type armor in the game. So I, I would love like Roman themed armor, uh, Greek themed armor, something like very iconic like that. But the one that I actually want to see first and first and foremost would be Viking armor. I think Viking armor would be really cool. And for those uh, historical buffs out there, I mean, fanta fantasy uh, Viking. I know that Vikings traditionally were not like how they are portrayed in the media. So I'm talking more fan fantasy, how it is portrayed in the fantasy or in the media, because I feel like that has a lot of a lot more personality than how they actually were. And the first thing, the first thing that I would love to see is uh, th this helmet right here. Uh, I think it's called the Frederick Viking helmet. Uh, I do know they actually did use this helmet, but I would love for specifically and this is going to be weird for some of you i would love for the hunters to get this helmet specifically with a viking cloak i'll have these two pictures up right now with the helmet and the cloak that i'm thinking about and i'll have a picture of a drawing that i did it's a rough 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 sketch but it's essentially combining both of the helmet and the cloak together and then at that point you could just use a lot of fur for like the gauntlets and for the boots you could also have boots that are like very viking themed again i really wish i could have drawn this out but that drawing that i did alone took me forever i'm not the best artist and so i do apologize but i would love the hunter to get this helmet just because there are no horns on this it would be easy for a hunter to just put their hood up with this because again there's no there's no horns on this with speaking of which the titan would actually go with this specific look i think this one with a combination of this one although i do love this one's helmet uh the titans will get the horns obviously they would be the ones that get the horns they would be the ones that get the runes the runic armor i think they would be the best with it I think a pauldron on one side with horns and the pauldron on the other side with like a bear head would be really cool. Um, and then just make them a lot of fur, um, a lot of just buff, like just make them look like a titan essentially. And I think horns is very important. I think the horns would be super, super important. Maybe, maybe still have this helmet as well because it is very similar to the Frederick helmet for the hunters. But I feel like the big distinguishable thing would be the horns and the fact that the hunters have the cloak up. And then last but not least, the warlocks is kind of hard because what I wanted to go for was kind of a uh, a shamanistic kind of Viking thing where uh, the, the warlock is wearing a, a robe that's like made of either fur, feathers or like moss, grass type thing and then have like pieces of metal a little bit here and there like very few and far between because i want more of the nature to come up for the warlocks and for the helmet itself it could actually be like just a regular uh iron helmet with a bunch of uh antlers on it i think that would be really interesting because 
again i want to go for that for that viking fuel and i feel like that would be the best choice uh the warlocks is going to be the hardest one for me because uh i don't have like it's easy to choose for the the titans and the hunter because the hunter i had a specific idea for it just off the bat and the titan i just again that one was a really easy one to choose from but for the warlocks a shamanistic uh viking i think would be the best and i'll have pictures up obviously f uh to showcase like my ideas but essentially something with fur something with feathers i feel like feathers would be the best choice just because feathers means like specifically black feathers would be would mean like crows or whatever like that which means it's more towards uh norse mythology specifically odin that's what i'm thinking of so i would love to see more viking inspired armor just warrior inspired inspired armor specifically like i would love to see like uh samurai themed armor for each of the classes i think samurai armor would be so cool and it's unfortunate that, that we have gotten that we we have gotten samurai or not samurai we have gotten japanese inspired armor but they don't look like bushido samurai they don't look like like that which is annoying uh i would love to see mayan themed armor which i don't think i will ever see but just more warrior themed armor from historical uh backgrounds would be super cool because iron banner for me is more of a celebration of like warriors than anything because if they had just kept the european look then i would have been like okay that's clearly european themed like just in general but since we have gotten a lot of japanese themed armor and the this this season's armor it just kind of really is hitting home that it's just warriors of humanity i guess like just in general so i think the only thing that like is a constant uh theme is the fact that there's a lot of green specifically with shaders although for the first few years of destiny 2 specifically after forsaken i think a lot of weird colors were shown but uh we are back to green again so that's pretty much it this video was not gonna be long it's just gonna be showcasing like my ideas of how you could do it uh for the weapons themselves it could literally just be uh root like weapons that have runes on it and depending on like let's say if you get kill clip on it or if they have a certain buff that's only specific for iron banner then the runes can actually glow it's not that hard if you guys want me to actually draw these things out it'll take a it'll take some time considering i'm i just got back into drawing again but i will do it if you guys ask me to because i do think uh iron banner does need or just armor in general in destiny 2 really needs a lot more sprucing up so yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming to this point and i'll see you guys later